why why do we have to we don't have to why touch it and if so just leave it where it is well then mr chairman based upon what we just heard it seems as though we only need a hundred thousand dollars anyway to that's, address this that's issue guess. that's a guess no, so we but, have no but, idea of knowing on. exactly hold what it hold is on. And I think Ms. Burke testified you, 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 what it was. You, if you were, you've, been, you've been real kind to me this morning. <laughs> okay. It. 20 is already cost you 25. And, and uh, no, he knows what I mean when I said being kind. Uh, if you're saying that you estimate that it's probably going to be $100,000, then that basically lines up to what? Is that Ms. Derrick? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Burke. Oh, Ms. Burke. Uh, Ms. Burke, can you come before us very quickly? Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? <clears throat> last year, well, this year, excuse me, for the last fiscal budget, when we asked the question about how much money do you perceive that is needed in order to demolish, and there's a process, you tell me what you said because I thought it was 50000 50000 with the current staffing <clears throat> level that we have is what we can manage. Okay, so I, I, if, if you got the person who's over the department who's saying based upon the number of employees that they have that they only need $50,000, why are we putting $200,000 more into a project that obviously they can't facilitate? Am, am, I, am I putting words in your mouth? I'm not trying to. No, ma'am. Um, but Cal does have a point. We have never done this, at least not since I've been here for a year now. Um, so we don't exactly know if it's going to be $5,000 a house or 10000 Depends on if we discover asbestos. That would require more remediation. Some of the houses are already in such a state of disrepair, it may not cost very much to finish the demolition of those. But again, we have not done this in many years, not since my tenure especially. Um, we have a, <coughs> uh, a business office manager that's trying to manage the contract along with other duties. The chief building inspector who has been doing most of the, the research is going out on FMLA for a couple months and then myself in spare time. When we presented the budget, we also talked about additional positions to help us facilitate some of this. We did not get those positions. <coughs> So right can, now, can you I'm contract? Sorry. I'm sorry. Can you contract these services if you can't have the person there? It would be hard to contract out the actual building inspector portion of it. They go and they certify on your behalf that it is uh, what's the health safety. Health safety. Health safety. As you know, right. we, well, we could but possibly, the, legal, the legal side can. We could contract part. out the uh, yeah. research and, 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 and all right. All right. All right. Legally in the camp. Um, how do we decide where what houses what what's the pecking order? It's so like the road. I mean it's gonna like I mean because there's neighborhoods in all of our districts where I know at least three or four <coughs> that have some dilapidated houses. And I mean how do we decide number one? what we go what what we need to do first and and then if you all say hey we need to keep this fun in this fun I don't have a problem with it I'm going on on you know what it came out at at a million and it got changed and then it got changed again so if we need this in there I, I I'm good with it but that comes from y'all because I don't want to park this money and then we need it on a, on a project somewhere and it's been used somewhere else because of a whatever. So you tell me and I'll, I'll make the change right now. We, we'd love to leave it in there and then we could possibly look at some outside help to help us get it, uh, pro get some more processed and really focus more on a long term plan for next year. If the costs are more than we're expecting on these 15 she's got ready, that gives us some for that. And we can look at, you know, when we come to next year's budget, a real, you know, long range plan that y'all can consider where we have funding and staff laid out ready to go. 
Ideally, I would like to look at more clustered areas. I think the, the cost might come down. But this batch that we have, the chief building inspector essentially put the list together based on what he had completed. And, and from what I understand, Commissioner, when we went into bankruptcy, I don't know how many we had on that list at that time, but we've been, we get calls, we investigate and look, and we put it on the list. I think it was 100 or so that we've been collecting and not processing or, or tearing down. And I'm sure <coughs> if we really got to look in it, it would be more in the thousands and not hundreds. And so we'll basically <coughs> first come, first serve, and, and I don't know how you go from with the way the process is set up, you could have something from 10 years ago that we identified, but to do the legally 30 and the 60 day letters, all of the proper legal notifications, it really needs to be done within that year. So people have to process. So um, am I hearing in this correctly? Are we trying to find something that's not really a plan? Because that's what it sounds like. We don't have a plan. We just trying to park the money for you all to get a plan. I, I, I'm saying why would we not listen to what you are, that's your department, that's what you do. Why would we not listen to your recommendation and then see how that works for this fiscal year and then come back and revisit it based upon what you've done as opposed to not adding to our reserves if we have the opportunity to do so. I, I mean, I just think that we need to if you don't have the manpower, excuse me, and even if so, let's just say if we did it at 100, that's twice more than what you asked for, and let's see how that works, and then revisit it again if, in fact, you need more money. But right now, we're only parking money based upon ifs. Am I correct? Yes, it would be a good idea for us to get through this first cycle of the 15 demos. And that's what it seemed like to me that really what you're trying to be is as, <clears throat> as honest as you can be in the process to say, listen, we only have 15. I would be interested, and I'm sure everyone else would, to know where those 15 are located. Do you have the addresses for those? I can get those to you. They were in the resolution that we adopted a few months ago. So if you, if you don't mind, you know, uh, if you can get us a copy of those <coughs> in terms of their location. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that you try to get the 15 done first. And then if, if, if we need to, I mean, it's just a matter of the body coming back together to see about providing additional dollars. But right now, I think you're trying to help us to maintain where we are and to see how that works since we haven't done it in a long time and especially during your tenure. That is what you're asking, am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think that's your answer. Whether we want to hear it or not, she just said it. So we're going to move money to maybe come back later and move money back. No, what I'm saying is, saying, are we talking about no, what I'm saying striking, is, she striking just, this item and, no, and what she it. just said uh, is that she only <laughs> needs, she requested 50, you all had an additional ask if you just went out on a limb for 100, okay, but what she's asking primarily is to allow them to get through the 15 homes that they've already identified as demolition or a demolition project. So to just leave the two fifty where it is now. No, she's saying it's not going to take two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to do fifteen I thought homes. She said she didn't know if it was going to be five thousand or ten thousand until you know. So what guess what? Even abandoned. if you multiply and you such a great businessman, all you have to do, Mr. Ammons, is pull out your calculator and you multiply fifteen times ten is one hundred fifty. Okay, 150 and 250. They also is a, said they also said that they could potentially do outside legal help to help facilitate getting more of these done. Quicker. Do you do you have homes in your district that that needs demolition? In, I, I have no. I'm wondering why you're fighting in, for an issue that may not even apply to your district. I'm not fighting on this issue. Yes, yeah. this is a this is a budget issue. If it's good for the county, then I would think you would speak on the item okay. that would be pertinent me, to your district. Let me let me speak. Let me speak. Well, I'm not. A, I've said it multiple times. Well, you said not, that you I'm speak, but you interrupted me. I'm just saying. No, listen. District, you I'm can say that for somebody county. else. Mr. Ammons, I got you. with all due you're respect, being, you're being kind too. Okay, and I am because <laughs> listen, we hold these department heads, we hold you, Tony, accountable for these department heads. 
Now, if, if she comes to us and this is what she says that she needs, then I think it's unfair for us to demand something that she's telling you they don't have the capacity to do. This is your staff, so I'm looking at you. I'm not so much as looking at her. I appreciate her honesty that she's saying that realistically, this is all that they're able to do right now. So do you have anything, Ms. Patel, that you need to add to that? Because other than that, what I'm saying is that if we can put in place any dollars back into reserves, then let's do that. But I know as a commissioner myself who has blight, I know Commissioner Tyson has blight, if you can only do 15 homes, that's not going to make a big difference in Jefferson County. You're talking about more than 650,000 citizens and only 15 homes to be addressed. The ratio is, it doesn't even mathematically make sense. So I'm saying I don't want us to come back and say that maybe she didn't do her part if, in fact, we give her $250,000 to demolish more than what she has the capacity to do. Am I, am I making myself clear? I understand. And let me, let me say this. We have 15 ready to go. There's a total of 97 that we know of today that uh, we're going to be working on. Uh, another problem she has, like she said, she has some staffing problems now, but that's, you know, uh, let's take care of the 15. We'll do what we can with the, the rest. And then uh, next year, uh, we'll come back with a, a, a plan on doing many more because uh, you're not going to do it at 15 a year. And, and yesterday, when, when Tony and I met, he said they had 97 in various stages of process. That's correct. That's correct. So those various stages of process may mean you've got three months left or six months left or nine months left to, to have that complete. And I think that it's, it's a shame that you have a county as large as Jefferson County with the needs that it has in all districts. And we can only produce the demolition of 15 houses. That, that is that is wrong. Bessemer does more than that with a $50 million budget. Okay. Uh, that is something that we need to drink. This commission uh, our employees will rise to the level of expectations. Okay, if you expect ten houses or fifteen houses, whatever it is, that's what we'll get. If we put forth in fund and effort where we can get ninety-seven houses done or begin to get that process completed, we will begin to actually see see some results. Now I'm going to ask another question. Uh, County Attorney. What would it take to do it within a municipality? A memorandum of understanding from the municipality? When you say do it within a municipality, I to, don't know. And if I got if I got Brighton or if I got Fairfield, okay, if 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 they if we decide that we want to take a block that that needs redone, we would need to talk with Fairfield or talk to Brighton or talk to uh, Sylvan Springs or or Hueytown or wherever it is. Uh, uh, Morris, wh wherever it is, to, to get a, a memorandum of understanding to be able to, to demolish a house within that area. So, so each city has its own responsibility for demolition. And if the only reason we would get involved in that is that if we were, if they were underfunded in their ability to do their own demolition, and that's in that circumstance, you could provide them additional monies. But we're talking about here is the process that we use to deal with those uh, public nuisances in unincorporated Jefferson County. So the conversation that we're having here deals with those properties. But if there was going to be something that was done in a municipality that falls within uh, an individual council member's district, they have their own authority to do their own demolition. And so it would, if you wanted to help, that would be a matter of giving money to those additional cities. But this conversation is just about those uh, properties that are in un unincorporated Jefferson County. And it's probably going to make the where we Can I ask one more question? Number one, um, if we did those 15 homes at that 15,000, that's only $3,333 per house. So it doesn't account for $10,000 a house potential of. Um, and I'll, and I'll, it's, it's more than just about um, uh, demolition. 
Uh, it's about having budget amendments on a budget that we just approved um, on on the first of August. All right. Well, uh, I think we these kind of these kind of uh, amendments. I, I think I think we got I think we got to the we could have saved thirty minutes. Uh, no, discussion this is important. This is a part what, of the what just came out. This is about helping cities. You know, and this that's is part what of the that's about. That's that we what they gone back to. Pardon me. This is a part of the conversation. This is a good conversation to have. Yeah, I think it's oh, vital yeah. that that we have it on each one of these items. Okay. So I mean, which I mean, one you want to do next? Because y'all didn't want to discuss them individually a couple of weeks ago, buddy. I no, 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 no. Certainly no. did. Okay. I certainly did. I okay. sat right next to you and asked the questions, and I got no answers. Yeah, you got answers. I, I thought you, you said you didn't that. get any questions. No, I no. thought you said no. you didn't let's talk about the Let's don't have that here. Let's don't, let's don't, let's don't I have a budget <laughs> amendment. Um, do I have a motion? Move the item as written. I have a motion. Do I have aye. a second? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. No. Any no. opposed? Two no. Three ayes. Those. EMA increase revenues expenditures to record a community grant to purchase a band. Anybody got any problem with that? One thousand five hundred ninety dollars. Move. Yeah. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. We have a, a motion to allocate funds to the sheriff's department for a down payment on a mobile command center. Move. Yeah. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Human resources. What a reclamation facility operator apprenticeship program that we have. A presentation. Do we have any energy to have another presentation? No. They started work yesterday, and so they're in training, and we'll uh, we'll make sure that. Uh, yeah, I think I saw uh, I saw a group of them come through earlier. Is this a pr apprentice? I'm sorry. No, it's it's a presentation. <coughs> yeah. Yesterday. Okay, Commissioner. We we they, they, they were, they're taking their tests, so we hope to have the, all those really good results back. So we want to we're going to kick this down to the next meeting, and we hope to have y'all a good presentation. The, the next commission first, meeting. First presentation. Next commission meeting. Or, or pre committee or committee. Committee. Commission. committee. Okay. All right, so we, we passed that. Personnel Board, Thompson Architect Contract Extension. Mm -hmm. Have a motion? Second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I do have one other motion for consideration. Uh, I think we got to your offices. Uh, this is about um, the... Act 2017. Um, this was this was about Act 2017. This was, as we all remember, the cemetery cleanup issue that uh, was uh, very um, carried by uh, Commissioner. I mean, uh, Representative Gavon. It passed, um, and as part of that act, it said that the Jefferson County delegation would form a board and the the funding that they, they would form their board and and decide where money would be allocated to go and do what use prisoners to go and clean up cemeteries but the funding would come from the sheriff's department pistol permit fee initially fifty thousand dollars for the first year twenty five thousand dollars each year thereafter all that the act requires us to do, and it hasn't been done yet, and this is just a, a placeholder for it, is to establish the, the fund in order to receive those funds. Now, the board hasn't even been formed, the board has never met, and there's never been any funding, but that's not our concern. The law says we establish a fund, so that's all we're doing is putting a placeholder so if there's money. I have a motion to second. All in favor, please say aye. Hold on, uh, Commissioner. Uh, hold on okay. before you follow it. Go ahead. Yes, I wanted, uh, <coughs> who would be appointing people to the board? Who would not have no appointment? No, that's from the delegation. So they make what? the appointments. No, we don't have any appointments on that. I don't believe. You say our only responsibility is, is to create the fund. Create the fund. We have no. We have no obligation to fund the fund. We have no uh, 
that 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 <coughs> board is created. There's force. The Senate and, and, the, and the representatives gives appoints the board members. We don't. Because my concern <coughs> is Shalom Memorial Cemetery that's around the corner from my house. Oh, oh that yeah. don't have an owner, and I've got to scrape every summer and go out and find people to keep it cut. That's my concern. Four members of the board shall be appointed by the members of the state house of representatives representing any part of the county. Three members shall be appointed by the Senate representing um, any part of the county. So that's that's the way it is. Um, that's that they're the appointing authority, and that's that's who will make those appointments. And the money gonna come out of the sheriff's But money comes out of the pistol, pistol permit, permit. Fee, according to this law. All all we're required to do is say, okay, <coughs> John Henry. We're just saying, hey, this is the Great cemetery fund. board fund. Correct. That's what the law says we have to do, and that's all. Right. all. So, I have a motion in a second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 That, that ends my report, I think. All right. I just have one item. Um, received a letter from um, the uh, Jefferson County Housing Authority um, requesting. Um, uh, a reappointment of Mr. Sam Parker, um, that he has uh, done a great job, um, and they would like to have him back on the board. I'll, I'll move that, and at the same time, I want to uh, uh, request that all commissioners look at your appointment because this is a we each have an appointment on this board. This happens to be a district five, but each of us have representatives that sit on this board, and it's a very, very important board. Uh, in order to, to get things done and, and to have a good housing for people. Spring Garden, that's that's one of the things that we had, had trouble with way back when. And uh, Sam But we Beach, got it resolved. Sir? But we got it resolved. We got it resolved. Yeah. We got it resolved. And that that and I'm and I'm gonna feel we can put some good board people. We there. work together to get that done. Right. I've been out there on a tour with the director of the um, Jefferson County Housing Authority. And I was uh, impressed with the location. And then come to find out, I had a couple of relatives out there. I didn't know. I knew they stayed out there, but I didn't really know that was the county facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't the edge water around out that way. Mm -hmm. uh, his office is out there. Got a good one there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the motion, go ahead, yeah. All in favor, please say aye. Oh, well, you're well, what you say? Huh? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any questions? Thank you. 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 Thank you.